the king of glory must come in. Hallelujah. This is the topic this evening, ladies and gentlemen, and we want to jump onto the prayers as soon as possible. In the maybe two or three sessions before, we are looking at the gates, spiritual gates. Hallelujah. And we saw that the gates are places of power and control. Hallelujah. That if you've got the power to control a gate, then you can determine what comes in and what goes out. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Say thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Say thank you, Jesus. So we saw that a gate is an entry point or an exit point. Right? So there are some spiritual gates. Hallelujah. Right? So, and these gates allow God to come in into our lives. These gates also can allow the devil to come into a person, to manifest into a place or into a family. Hallelujah. So these gates now, they've been, they, 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 can, they can be established knowingly or unknowingly. Hallelujah. Right? We are looking, today we are looking at the king of glory that he must come in. As we are going to read in a minute, right, in Psalms 24, right, so we saw that the gates, they control, they control territories and regions, right? When you get into a certain place or into a different region, they want to know who you are. When you get to the, to the immigration post, hallelujah, when you are getting into another country, they want to know who you are. They want to know your name. They want to know your date of birth. They want to know a few details. Hallelujah. And the same thing happens in the spirit realm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Right. So wherever we are staying, wherever we are situated, there are some spiritual gates that determine the flow of spiritual traffic. It might be demons or it might be angels of God. It might be God or it might be the devil. Hallelujah. So there are some spiritual gates. Hallelujah. Let's move on. So any date or any power manifests more of its power or it strengthens its grip on people, on a family or on a region depending on an altar that has been, if an altar has been established. Hallelujah. So we can equate a gate to an altar. Right? An altar is like our altar, the fire prayer altar. This is where we come to meet God. This is where we come to meet. This is humanity meeting divinity. Human being meeting God. Hallelujah. And now when we pray and we pray some few prayers or worship and praise God, then we we we, we, we manage to invite God. God comes to us. Hallelujah. The same way, the same way we saw that in the previous, that when the, 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 in the demonic world, they play their drums, they do things, they do things, they shake them, they are shakers, they sing a song or some songs, and then they invite evil spirits, and you find a person who is tempted to be a, a, a pocket of an evil spirit, a pocket of an evil spirit, now starts to speak strange languages. Hallelujah. Right. It's all done at an altar, ladies and gentlemen. Hallelujah. Right. So we also saw that the greater the sacrifice on the altar, the more power is drawn from the spirit realm. Right. Both in the positive and in the negative both in the demon world or in the God world. Hallelujah. In the kingdom of God. Right. So, yes. So, I'm just putting things in perspective, right? Or in just laying a foundation of what we are going to say in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So, a human sacrifice on a gate, at the gate or on the altar, right, is the biggest sacrifice one can give. Hallelujah. <laughs> you remember Abraham? Abraham was told to bring his son to offer him on an altar. Say thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 
I don't want to, I'm, I'm just tempted to go in a certain direction right now, but I'm not going there. <laughs> Hallelujah. Say thank you, Jesus. Right. But we know that God sacrificed his son so that a gate, a permanent gate can, could be established for you and me so that we have access into the presence of God through Jesus Christ, through the blood of Jesus. We know that when Jesus died on the cross and he said this is finished, we, you remember that the curtain in the temple was torn from top to bottom. The curtain was dividing the holy place from the most holy place. Meaning that Jesus Christ now created a gate and a doorway into the presence, into the glory of God for each and every one of us, anyone who believes in Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Right. So Psalms 24, right? We want, we want to go forward now. Psalms 24 verse 7, it says, Lift up your heads, all you gates, and be lifted up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. So we are talking about the King of glory coming in. He must come in. There are some doors, some ancient doors that are resisting the coming in of the Lord Jesus Christ or the coming in of the King of glory. The King of glory is Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And Jesus Christ wants to do wonders in your life. But there are some things, some gates that are standing up and saying and resisting and saying uh, Jesus Christ is not going to manifest uh, in someone's life. Uh, Jesus Christ's peace is not going to manifest. Uh, Jesus joy, uh, Jesus progress, uh, Jesus life healing, uh, every, they are not going to manifest in anyone's life. Uh, these gates are standing right there. If as we have seen that the gate uh, is equated to an altar, there are some altars uh, that have allowed demons and principalities to establish their presence in, a, in someone's life or in a family. And now the king of glory is failing to get right there. Hallelujah. So people are rubbished. People's destinies are rubbished. Failure at the age of breakthrough. Confusion in the marriage. Confusion children. Confusion everywhere in the business, in the office, confusion, debauchery, immorality around in the community. Wrong things are happening around us. Why? Because there are some gates that are saying the king of glory cannot come in. So now we are going to dismantle those gates one by one in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Who is this king of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. Say thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who is this king of glory? The, the, the Lord strong and mighty. Mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, all you gates. Even lift up your heads. Be lifted up, you everlasting doors. And the king of glory shall come in. Verse 10. Who is this king of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the king of glory. The Lord of hosts is the king of glory. Hallelujah. So we saw that now a deity or a power or a God can now strengthen their power if there is a sacrifice that has been put on the altar or if an altar has been established. Right now we are establishing an altar for Jesus. We are receiving Jesus in our hearts. And we say, Jesus, come into my heart. Make me a child of God. Forgive me of every sin and every transgression. Wash me from inside out. I repent from my sins. I repent from all what I did that was wrong. Lord Jesus, forgive me. Wash me with your blood from inside out. Now, once we have done that, we have hooked ourselves on the altar. Now, look at First Peter chapter 1. Verse 18, you must know and recognize that you were redeemed. You were ransomed from the useless, the fruitless way of living, in, 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 inherited by tradition from your forefathers, not with corruptible things such as silver or gold. 
So what he's saying is we are redeemed not by silver or gold. We are not redeemed by corruptible things. We are not redeemed by money. We are not redeemed by someone's name. But we have been redeemed. But, verse 19, we were purchased with the precious blood of Christ, the Messiah, like a sacrificial lamp without blemish or spot. Now, when we say to Jesus, come into my heart and make me a child of God, we are hooking ourselves up to the biggest altar, to the most powerful altar. And we know a human being was sacrificed right there on that altar. Jesus Christ, the, last, the Son of God, was sacrificed on that altar. And now, the bigger the sacrifice, the more power, the, the bigger the power <laughs> is drawn from the spirit realm. Now, since Jesus is the biggest sacrificer, it means now we are drawing the power, the most powerful, <laughs> the most potent power, the, the biggest power of all powers, which is the power of God. Hallelujah. So we are hooked to the biggest power, ladies and gentlemen. And now we are dealing with any other gates, any other, these gates, the engine gates, they are, they are going down by fire. In the name of Jesus, we are knocking them down. Any gate that is standing against your promotion, any gate that is standing against your marriage, any gate that is saying you are not going to be happy, any gate that is saying you are not going to have peace, you are not going to have any sleep, you are not going to eat anything, any gate that is frustrating your life, that gate is going to go up in smoke. We are going to catch, command fire to catch it and to get, uh, command it to catch fire and burn to ashes in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Pray this prayer after me if you can. Say, Lord Jesus Christ, come into my heart. Make me a child of God. Forgive me of every sin and every transgression. Wash me from inside out. Lord Jesus Christ, I know you died for me on the cross, but you rose from the dead on the third day. Now I invite you to come into my heart and take permanent residence in my life. Change me from inside out. Lord Jesus Christ, let your blood wash me, wash my conscience, wash my mind, wash my heart. Lord Jesus, let the blood that you shed on the cross purify my soul, purify my spirit, purify my body, my flesh, in the name of Jesus, you Satan, I bind you and I scatter you by fire. You demonic powers that have been working in my life, that have been influencing my life all this while, I command you to leave me alone now. I bind you and I scatter you by fire. In the name of Jesus, you demonic powers of filth, you demonic powers of of rebellion, you demonic powers of sin. I bind you and I scatter you by the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Say every defiling spirit appearing in my dreams, I tear you into pieces with the sword of fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, say any defiling spirit, any polluting spirit appearing in my dreams, I tear you into pieces with the sword of fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, say you defiling spirits appearing in my dreams, I cut you into pieces with the sword of fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, say you evil spirits that are causing nightmares in my life, I command you to be cut into pieces with the sword of fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, say any dark power that is living inside of me, and causing me to take wrong decisions. I command you to scatter by fire you dark powers from the devil that has been programmed to cause me to take the wrong turn in life. I command you to be destroyed by fire. I defeat you by the blood of Jesus. I defeat you by the blood of Jesus. I defeat you by the blood of Jesus. Say any dark personality living inside of me, I command you to get out now 
by the blood of Jesus. You dark power that is living in my soul. You dark powers that are living in the crevices of my mind. In the in my soul, hiding in my soul, hiding in my heart, hiding in my character. I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes. In the mighty name of Jesus, you dark powers that have been programmed in my life. Your time is up. I command you to get out of your hiding place and scatter now by fire. In the name of Jesus, you dark powers of rebellion that have been programmed in my life. You dark powers of sin programmed in my life. You dark powers of immorality that have been programmed in my life. I command you to get out of my life. Catch fire and burn to ashes. I command you to leave me alone by the blood of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, say you satanic gates that are standing against me. I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes. In the name of Jesus, say you ancient doors that are hindering the entrance of the king of glory. I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes. You satanic gates in my life that are, that are opposing the entrance of the king of glory in my life. I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes in the mighty name of Jesus. Say you ancient doors, you ancient gates that are hindering the manifestation of the peace of God in my life. I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes in the name of Jesus. You ancient doors, you ancient gates that are hindering the entrance of the king of glory, the king of peace, the prince of peace in my life. I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes in the name of Jesus. Say you gates hindering my peace, my joy, catch fire, burn to ashes in the name of Jesus. Demonic gates, witchcraft gates hindering my prosperity. I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes in the mighty name of Jesus. Satanic gates hindering my marriage. I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes in the mighty name of Jesus. Satanic gates that that are hindering my progress in life. I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes. In the name of Jesus, say you strong men standing at the evil gate, standing against me at the evil gate, I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes. In the name of Jesus, say you strong man, you strong woman, that is guarding evil gates against me, I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes. In the name of Jesus, say you ancient doors, I command you to swing open and let the king of glory come in. In the name of Jesus, say you ancient gates, you ancient doors, swing open on your own accord and let the king of glory come into my life, manifest in my life. In the mighty name of Jesus, you ancient doors, yes, that have been hindering up. Yes, the king of glory from manifesting in my family. I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes. Open now and catch fire and burn to ashes. In the mighty name of Jesus, any hindering door, any hindering gate that has been hindering my way forward, that has been hindering my progress in life, that has been hindering my breakthroughs, that has been hindering my children from going forward, you are a liar. I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes. In the name of Jesus, you ancient doors, you ancient gates that have been resisting my destiny. I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes. In the mighty name of Jesus, say I'm redeemed by the blood of Jesus. Say I'm redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. I'm sanctified by the blood of Jesus. I'm justified by the blood of Jesus. Therefore, any sin in my life is forgiven. Any transgression in my life is forgiven. I am the righteousness of God. I am the righteousness of God. Him who knew no sin became sin for me that I may become the righteousness of God 
I am the righteousness of God. I am hooked up to the most powerful altar of Christ Jesus. In the name of Jesus, say I am hooked up to the most powerful altar of Christ Jesus. Therefore, nothing can stand against me. Therefore, and no, no gate, no ancient door, no ancient gate shall resist my progress. In the name of Jesus, say, for, say any satanic gate, any ancient gate that is resisting my progress in life. I command you to catch fire. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is a psalm of David. This psalm 24. It's a psalm of David. He sang it when he desired the ark to come into Jerusalem. Hallelujah. And there had been some problems in trying to bring the presence of God into Jerusalem, hallelujah, into Mount Zion, hallelujah. Yet there were some problems, there were some problems. First of all, the ark was captured during the time of El Eli, hallelujah, and then it stayed up, but then it started to plague the Philistines, and they released it, the gods of Revelation, they released it, and then now it went into, the, the it, was, it, it was kept up, in a certain place. Uh, hallelujah. Remember, you remember Uza. Uza. Now they started now. They tried to. David tried. Uh, he tried. Uh, he was trying to bring the presence, to make the presence of God uh, manifest in Jerusalem. Uh, in his life, uh, the presence of God to dwell. Because the ark of God was the presence of God. Uh, the ark of God represented the presence of God. Uh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. So now he was singing this psalm and saying now. Any door that is resisting the coming of the ark of the presence of God, let it be open. They have lift up your heads, you gates, be lifted up, you everlasting doors, and let the King of Glory come in. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! You've got you've got some history a little bit. Hallelujah! Now, any gate that is resisting the presence of God in your life. And the manifestation of the glory of God in your life, they have to catch fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Say every serpent on assignment to poison my life, be electrocuted by the electric power of God in the name of Jesus. Say every serpent and spirit that is hindering the presence of God in my life, I command you to be electrocuted by the electric power of God in the name of Jesus. Say every serpent and spirit that is manifesting in my life uh, and hindering um, the flow of God in my life, uh, the flow of the Spirit of God in my life. Uh, I command you uh, to be electrocuted uh, by the electric power of God uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, you serpentine spirit, uh, you diabolic spirit, uh, you diabolic spirit, uh, you dragon spirit uh, that is hindering uh, the flow of God in my life, uh, the presence of God in my life, uh, the miracles of God in my life, uh, you satanic powers are uh, hindering uh, my present, my, my progress, uh, hindering my blessings, uh, hindering my manifestation, uh, hindering my shining. Uh, I command you uh, to catch fire and burn to ashes uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, say, serpents uh, of my father's house, uh, serpents uh, of my mother's house, uh, troubling my destiny. Uh, be roasted to ashes uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, Serpents uh, from my father's house. Uh, Serpents uh, from my mother's house. Uh, troubling my life. Uh, troubling my health. Uh, troubling my marriage. Uh, troubling my career. Uh, troubling my finances. Uh, I command you uh, to catch fire and burn to ashes uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. So our forefathers established some altars uh, that allowed the devil to come in. Uh, and the serpent, you know that the serpent is the devil. The devil is the serpent. Hallelujah. So we are troubled by the serpent who was allowed to come in by the establishment of demonic altars. Yes, our forefathers did it. Now, say every serpent from my father's house, every serpent from my mother's house, 
troubling my life. I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes. In the name of Jesus, say every serpent that is poisoning my health, I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes. Say every serpent that is causing sickness and disease in my family, I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes. In the name of Jesus, say any serpent of darkness that is causing sickness and disease in my house, I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes. In the name of Jesus, say you serpent of darkness that is devouring my health from inside, I command you to be evacuated by fire. Fire. Be evacuated by fire. Be evacuated by fire. Be evacuated by fire. In the name of Jesus, say you serpent that managed to get access into my body and now speaking from inside me, I command you to come out. 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 You serpent of rebellion. You serpent of witchcraft. That is now. Yes, working from within me. I command you to come out by fire. In the name of Jesus. You serpent of deception. I command you to come out. You serpent of deception. Deceiving me from inside. I command you to come out and die by fire. In the name of Jesus, you serpent of darkness that is dwelling in my body, dwelling in my soul, I command you to come out of your hiding place. Catch fire and burn to ashes. Catch fire and burn to ashes. Catch fire and burn to ashes. In the mighty name of Jesus, say you serpent and spirit that is whispering evil voices to me, I command you to be silenced by fire. In the name of Jesus, you serpent of darkness that wants to sweet talk me to disaster, I command you to be silenced by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, you serpent of darkness working from inside me and destroying my destiny, destroying my health, eat chewing and drinking my blood from inside that. I command you to catch fire. Be evacuated now by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, you serpent of darkness living in my body, come out now by fire. Come out, come out now by fire. Come out now by fire. You serpent of darkness circulating in my body, I command you to come out now by fire. I command you to come out now by fire. You serpent of darkness circulating in my body. I command you to come out and die by fire. You serpent of darkness programmed in my womb. I command you to come out and die by fire. Come out and die by fire. You serpent of darkness programmed in my spine, programmed in my back, programmed in my legs. I command you to come out and die by fire. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus, say you serpent and spirit that have been programmed in my house to try and deceive me, to try and deceive my wife, to try and deceive my husband, to try and deceive my children. I command you to come out now by fire. I sweep you out. I sweep you out with the broom of fire. I sweep you out with the fire of the Holy Ghost. I sweep you out with the blood of Jesus. I flush you out with the blood of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, say any nasty creature that has been programmed in my life, that has been programmed in my life, working against my destiny, I command you to be flushed out by the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Say you serpentine voice, speaking into my ears, be silenced forever by the power and the blood of Jesus. Say every incantation to program serpents into my life, backfire in the name of Jesus. Say every sangoma that is programming serpents into my life. I command you to go fall down and die in the name of Jesus. Say every sangoma, every sorcerer, every occultic priest that is busy programming serpents into my destiny 
to destroy my destiny. I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes. In the mighty name of Jesus, say you spiritual armed robbers in my dreams, be wasted now by fire. In the name of Jesus, spiritual armed robbers in my dreams, I command you to die by fire. In the name of Jesus, spiritual armed robbers in my dreams, I command you to be wasted now by fire. In the name of Jesus, spiritual armed robbers that are stealing my property in my dreams, that are stealing my joy in my dreams, that are stealing my car, stealing my possessions in the dreams. I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes in the mighty name of Jesus. Say you devouring spirits, vomit my progress now by fire in the name of Jesus. Say you devouring spirits, vomit my career now, vomit my health now, vomit my breakthroughs now, vomit my promotion now, vomit my favor now, vomit my blessings now and die by fire. In the name of Jesus, say every devouring spirit that has devoured my finances, that has devoured my career, I command you to vomit it and die by fire. You devouring spirit that has devoured my glory, I command you to vomit my glory and catch fire and burn to ashes. In the name of Jesus, say you devouring spirit from my village, you devouring spirit from my father's house, you devouring spirit from my neighborhood, from my environment, that has devoured my destiny, that has devoured my progress in life, that has devoured my joy, that has devoured my finances, that has devoured my business. I command you to vomit it and die by fire. Vomit and die by fire. Vomit and die by fire. Devouring spirits that has devoured my marriage. I command you to vomit it and die by fire. Vomit my marriage and die by fire. Vomit my children and die by fire. Vomit my children and die by fire. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Say I speak destruction to the roots and the fruits of stagnation. In the name of Jesus. Say I speak destruction to the roots and the fruits of stagnation. In the name of Jesus. Say I speak destruction to the roots and the fruits of poverty. In the name of Jesus. Say you roots and fruits of poverty in my life. Catch fire and burn to ashes. Roots and fruits of frustration. Catch fire and burn to ashes. Roots and fruits of backwardness. Catch fire and burn to ashes. Roots and fruits of despair. Catch fire and burn to ashes. Roots and fruits of misfortunes. Catch fire and burn to ashes. Roots and fruits of rejection in my life. Catch fire and burn to ashes. Roots and fruits of failure at the edge of breakthrough. I command you to with and die. I command you to with and die. In the mighty name of Jesus. Roots and fruits of frustration. Roots and fruits of sickness and disease in my life. I command you to with and die by fire. With and die by fire. We then die by fire. We then die by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say thank you, Jesus. Say I speak destruction to the roots and fruits of marital failure. In the name of Jesus. Say roots and fruits of marital failure. Scatter now by fire. Roots and fruits of marital failure. Marital collapse. I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes. Roots and fruits of loneliness. I command you to with and die. In the name of Jesus. Roots and fruits of frustration. Of loneliness. Yes, in my life. I command you to with and die by fire. With and die by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Say every root and fruit of untimely death. Scatter now by fire. Root and fruit of backwardness. Scatter now by fire. Root and fruit of collective captivity. In my life. I command you to catch fire. And burn to ashes. In the name of Jesus. 
Say serpentine altars uh, from my place of birth uh, that are crying against my life. Uh, I command you uh, to be silenced by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, say serpentine altars uh, from my father's house uh, that had opened uh, a doorway for the devil to come in uh, and harass my family. I command you uh, to catch fire and burn to ashes uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, Say serpentine altars in my neighborhood that are allowing the devil to frustrate my efforts. I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes. Say you serpentine altars in my environment, in my territory that are frustrating my way forward, frustrating my business, frustrating my job, frustrating my creativity. I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes in the name of Jesus. Serpentine spirits, serpentine altars that are working against my life, against my children, frustrating my children's education. I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes, serpentine altars in my neighborhood, in my territory, frustrating my grandkids' progress. I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes in the mighty name of Jesus. Say every battle at the edge of breakthrough, I scatter you by fire. I scatter you now with the whirlwind of God in the name of Jesus. Say, I generate the whirlwind of God. I generate the whirlwind of God and go and destroy every satanic gang up against my life in the name of Jesus. Say, you satanic gang up against my life, against my career. I command you to be destroyed by the hurricane of God in the name of Jesus. Say any flood of the enemy, any flood of the devil, I command you to be quenched by the tornado of God, by the whirlwind of God, by the hurricane of God. In the mighty name of Jesus, say I release mighty wind, I release the east wind of God to go against every flood of the enemy that is coming against me. In the name of Jesus, say you flood of the devil, you flood of poverty, coming against me, I confront you with the east wind of God and be destroyed by fire. In the name of Jesus, say you satanic flood, you demonic flood of poverty, of rejection, of backwardness, of demotion, of sickness and disease, of despair, of suffering, of hardship coming against my life. I confront you with the east wind of God. Be blown to nothing in the name of Jesus. Be blown to nothing in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is all scripture, ladies and gentlemen. In the mighty name of Jesus. And the Lord caused a wind to blow. And the Egyptians had assumed and presumed that we will catch up and we're going to take over, to overtake these Hebrews and bring them back into bondage. But the Lord caused his wind to come and it blew. Yes, the Red Sea and all the soldiers of Pharaoh were covered in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now we want to speak to the wind. This is my favorite. In the name of Jesus. Numbers chapter 11, I think. Hallelujah. And the Lord caused a wind. A wind came from the Lord. And it blew quails from the sea. And it blew the quails around the camp of Israel. Hallelujah. Say, my God, my Father, cause your wind to blow and bring blessings my way. And blow up breakthroughs my way. In the name of Jesus, my God, my Father, yes, cause your wind to blow and bring favor to me. Bring breakthroughs, open doors for me. In the mighty name of Jesus, say wind of the Holy Spirit, blow my way. In the name of Jesus, wind of the Holy Ghost, blow my way. In the name of Jesus, wind of miracles, blow my way. Wind of breakthroughs, blow my way. Wind of healing, blow my way. 
In the mighty name of Jesus, wind of the Holy Spirit, yes, come and blow up. Yes, my way, bring the miracles. Yes, bring and cause my destiny to manifest. Wind of the Holy Spirit, cause my destiny to manifest. In the mighty name of Jesus, hallelujah. Say, I decree my heart. I confess with my mouth divine favor upon me, divine progress in my life, divine blessings in my life. In the name of Jesus, I decree my heart, I confess with my mouth that I'm the head, I'm not the tail, I'm on top, I'm not below, I'm above, I'm not beneath. In the mighty name of Jesus, I decree my heart, I confess with my mouth, I receive divine connections, I receive divine contacts, I receive divine links, I receive divine restoration, I receive divine health, I receive divine healing, I receive divine breakthroughs, I receive divine open doors, I receive divine abundance, I receive divine wealth, I receive divine riches, I receive divine blessings, I receive divine favor, I receive divine progress, I receive divine prosperity, I receive divine abilities, in the mighty name of Jesus, say, I, I, I decree my heart, I confess with my mouth that I'm healthy, abundantly healthy. I am rich, abundantly rich. I'm successful, abundantly successful. I am prosperous, abundantly prosperous. In the mighty name of Jesus, say, I cover myself up with the blood of Jesus. I cover my mind. I cover my heart. I cover my soul. I cover everything that concerns me with the blood of Jesus. Say evil chains that were working against me. Evil chains that were being used at a satanic gate against my life. You are broken into pieces forever in the name of Jesus. Say evil covenants that were being used at evil gates and evil altars. You are nullified forever by the blood of Jesus. Say any curses that were working against me, any curses pronounced against me, any hex, any jinx, any spell, incantations, enchantments, divinations against me, you are nullified, you are destroyed, you are cancelled forever by the blood of Jesus. Say manifest now, my divine victory, manifest now, my divine shining, manifest now, my divine joy, manifest now, my divine peace, manifest now, my divine progress, manifest now, my divine prosperity, manifest now, my divine profession, manifest now, my divine business, manifest now, my divine career, manifest now, my divine job, manifest now, my divine connections, manifest now, my divine links, manifest now, my divine favor, manifest now, my divine blessings, manifest now, my divine open doors, manifest now, my divine breakthroughs, manifest now, my divine wisdom, manifest now, my divine knowledge, manifest now, my divine skills, manifest now, my divine acceptance, manifest now, my divine recovery, manifest now, my divine speed, manifest now, manifest now, manifest now, in Jesus' mighty name, we pray, amen, hallelujah, we thank you, Father Jehovah God, yes, for Jesus Christ, the ultimate sacrifice, this is, he is the king of glory, we allow him to come, in the name of Jesus, thank you, Father, yes, Lord, thank you, Father, for helping us to establish an altar that will cause the king of glory to come in, we thank you for the power that you have given us uh, to destroy all the gates uh, that were resisting the entrance uh, of the King of Glory. Thank you for victory through and through. Thank you for causing us to come from, from victory to victory in the mighty name of Jesus, from glory to glory. We worship your name, Father, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah.